Hello. Some of you may not know this, but I listen to music a lot. Not really a bunch of albums, however, I have listened to a few albums uh, in my lifetime, and uh, I'm going to be talking about albums I, albums I really like. So, first one is my favorite album of all time, Spirit Phone by Lemon Demon. Most of you guys don't know who this artist is. He's not super well-known, however, he has a few really popular songs, and uh, the album Spirit Phone is just really, really good. Uh, my favorite genre is rock. Um, I, I really just love guitars, which is why I have an electric guitar, because I just really love the sound it makes, the distorted or the clean uh, sound a guitar makes that I really, really like. And uh, Spirit Phone just has a bunch of both of those, uh, just a bunch of distorted and clean guitars, and it really, and the synths really work well. And that's why I really like this album. I've talked about Lemon Demon a lot in the past, so if you know who Lemon Demon is, I've made a bunch of videos on him already. Uh, he's Neil Cicerega. If you guys don't know who Neil Cicerega is, he's basically the person behind the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. If you don't, but that is, it's a new grounds animation and the Peter P Peter Potter Puppet Pals series, which is a pretty popular series on YouTube, kind of mimicking. Harry Potter in a comedic fashion, but uh, enough of talking about that, Next, the next albums. So I haven't listened to a bunch of albums all the way through, however, my second favorite so far is actually going to be an album that I've listened to pretty recently, the Nine Inch Nails album, The Downward Sparrow. Sorry, it took me a while to remember the name. Yeah, so far I've listened to like about two quarters of the way, or not two quarters, two thirds of the way through the album, and it's insanely good. Like, it is very, very good. It really fits. The, it, I really love industrial rock, and most of this album is just that, but it really fits that chaotic theme very, very well. If you want to dive in more into the theme of this album, there are multiple other people talking about it, because I don't want to go too deep, because it's a pretty goddamn dark album. It's pretty scary, but um, yeah, it's a very, very good album. I would recommend you give it a listen if you really like industrial music. Really, really fucking loud and then just intense music. This fits that perfectly. And the third album is probably Pink Floyd's The Wall, which I've talked about in the past as well. It's basically the exact opposite of, of Nine Inch Nails, or at least that album, because Nine Inch Nails did a bunch of experimental stuff in later albums. However, Pink Floyd's The Wall is just very, very slow, uh, barely a bunch of fast-paced songs. However, it really fits that theme yet again of just sadness. This is more of a like a sad album than like a angry fucked up album. I mean, it's fucked up in the sense that it's just sad, and you just watch a man slowly deteriorate uh, throughout the course of the album, and it's it's sad. I I really like sad albums. Uh, if you haven't realized, but I also do like happy songs and happy albums as well. I, I'm 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 no prude to those. Uh, but I just like sad albums a lot, especially when it really nails the theme, like Nine Inch Nails and Pink Floyd. They do an amazing job in both of those albums, just conveying just the fucking depression and sadness you go through in those hard times. But that's basically it. Oh, and I guess my fourth and fifth albums are probably View Monster and... Dinos Orchestra, both by Lemon Demon again, uh, because they're just amazing albums, and Dinos Orchestra is actually a sad, a sort of sad album, however, it's also kind of happy in some places as well, which I really, really enjoy. But that's basically it, those are my favorite albums of all time so far, because I haven't listened to a lot, as I said, however, the ones I have listened to throughout the, throughout the most of the way through, I've really enjoyed. But that's basically it, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.